analysis of colloquial Arabic piece. And the presenter is Megawa. Maggie, Khaled Maggie. Maggie, Maggie. So, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Khaled Nagy. I'm here to present our uh, paper, a uh, sentiment analysis of colloquial Arabic tweets. I'm here on behalf of my colleague, uh, Professor Maki, and my uh, students uh, uh, listed here. This uh, work was gracefully sponsored by the Faculty of Engineering, Alexandria University and the um, Advanced Technology Labs in Cairo for Microsoft Research. Oh. Okay. So starting with a brief introduction and motivation of our work, since uh, it is most about uh, uh, colloquial Arabic, so I guess I'll, uh, I will have to increase a little bit on uh, the uh, introduction and motivation section. Um, but basically the science is the same. <laughs> Okay, uh, if we start with the definition, what's sentiment analysis? Uh, sentiment analysis uh, can be defined as the task of determining the semantic orientation of, opinion, of an opinion holder H on an object or a feature of an object O. And our problem is to perform sentiment analysis of colloquial Arabic tweets. Uh, generally speaking, you have three outcomes for any uh, uh, sentiment analysis of a, of a tweet. In general, uh, you have it's either positive, negative or objective. Uh, here, uh, if I uh, translate these uh, sample tweets quickly, so the first one would be, um, my applause goes to this uh, elderly lady, it's positive, or a negative, uh, yeah, politics and uh, sports, uh, all is about um, chairs and uh, challenges and uh, uh, competitions. And an objective tweet like the uh, Chamber of Commerce in Riyadh uh, cancelled the visit of the Russian dele uh, delegation. So, our motivation is much of the research uh, conducted on su subjectivity and sentiment analysis, SSA, of English texts during the uh, la uh, last decade. So, uh, in English, this is no longer a hot topic, but little work was focused on, uh, on Arabic. Um, the work on Arabic mainly focused on MSA, which is Modern Standard Arabic. Uh, nevertheless, most of the tweets are uh, uh, written in colloquial Arabic. Nobody writes an official, uh, an official tweet. So, going through the challenges, so uh, we are talking about colloquial Arabic, so we assume a dire presence of a dialect. No, we have six different dialects in, our, uh, uh, in Arabic, which are uh, devised to sub-dialects as well. So uh, dialects generally lack spelling standards. All the three words that we have here uh, tr um, have one translation, which means I cannot. And by the way, all the three are uh, grammatically wrong. OK. Uh, handling compound phrases and, ad and idioms, uh, this uh, expression or idiom, uh, idiom uh, uh, translates to olad or pious, uh, and uh, it started as a local sarcastic joke and a talk show, and everybody in from Morocco to Iraq or from Syria to Sudan know this idiom, mm -hmm. but really it has no, uh, it has no real meaning. Or uh, you have a problem with Arabic uh, first names in general because they are uh, having lots of, um, they're always uh, associated with adjectives. So this red one is the name of a person which actually uh, translates to uh, smiley. So is it a positive uh, tweet? It's his name. Well, my name is everlasting. My father's name is Glory, my glory. My last name is Survivor, <laughs> if you follow what I mean. Handling negation, here as well, three forms of negation, and all of them grammatically incorrect. So, we have mix of dialects and also dialect levels. Uh, we have uh, um, Egyptians or Arabs in general tend to mix in a single tweet 
uh, their dialect and maybe a quote from uh, Quran, which is not even a modern standard Arabic, this is an old Arabic. So here you have another dimensionality. Uh, you have lots of transliterated words. So uh, here uh, this hashtag is who loves Basim Yusuf uh, must do a follow. And this follow uh, written in red is really follow. F-O-L-O -O is transliterated. Or a contradictory language or uh, mixed content uh, like the green and red. The red one makes as a poison in honey. So is it a positive uh, uh, tweet or a negative one? And uh, the before last one is uh, an expression uh, does not mean anything, but it's really sarcastic, and Egyptians are known for their sarcasm. Or uh, here, the last one is an episode for the history, so is it positive or negative? Um, even emoticons uh, are a real challenge because you, the, we tend to use a, a mix of left to right and right to left content. So what is this? Is it a smiley or a fat face? So it really depends from in which region do you read it. So the re related work on Arabic tweets, um, basically there are three types in general. It's a machine language approach. So you need to select the right features or you need for a larger label data set, which is domain dependent typically. And uh, examples are two, uh, uh, one and two, uh, which is found at the back of the slideshow or uh, the paper. Or it can be lexicon based, um, which uh, an approach which is domain independent and you need, uh, for that you need an, uh, a comprehensive lexicon. So an example for this is the work of three or a hybrid approach in which you combine both machine language, uh, machine learning uh, approaches and lexicon based approaches. And another example is, is number four. So, nevertheless, we need to expand uh, or extend the related work because most of the Arabic uh, work done uh, on <coughs> modern standard Arabic. So, we need to support colloquial dialects. We need to have a large lexicon that covers many Arabic dialects. And the hybrid approach, which seems to be uh, the most uh, powerful approach because it combines um, both of them, um, is present in, uh, uh, in four. Nevertheless, it's used ninth Bayesian classifier, which is dependent on the prior class uh, distribution. And it uses an MPQA lexicon, which is, after being tr uh, translated from English to Arabic, to modern standard Arabic and not dialect Arabic, so uh, you have a loss of quality here to, uh, due to this transla uh, translation to MSA. And it suffers from high dim dimensionality due to using all the words as features. So in our proposed work, we try to build a new annotated data set for Egyptian Arabic. So one major dialect is Egyptian Arabic tweets to be released uh, publicly for research. We built a new Arabic lexicon, since we are using an hybrid approach as well, so we need to have a lexicon, uh, by merging a four a lexica, the MPQA, the Arab Senti, which are, the first two are based on uh, modern standard Arabic, and a lexicon produced uh, in the research of um, number three, uh, which is um, uh, colloquial Arabic, and a fourth one that we uh, manually created and annotated uh, during our research. So we modify also the uh, state-of-the-art semantic orientation algorithms by using the merged lexicon and by handling, uh, providing extra handling for false neutral sentences. We modify the hybrid approach for by using the merged lexicon, the result of the modified semantic orientation algorithm and using, uh, by using SVM instead of naive Bayesian and feature selection to reduce the dimensionality a little bit. So system phases, um, in each uh, hybrid approach or uh, machine learning approach, you have a training testing phase, uh, which I'm afraid I'm going to skip due to time limitations. But generally speaking, it is similar to um, the application phase itself, in which you have your set of unlabeled tweets, <coughs> Uh, you have an extraction phase in which language-independent features and uh, tweet-specific features are extracted. 
then you move you move them to the feature then you get their feature vectors which are uh, fed into uh, the uh, into the system also by uh, doing some preprocessing over the, over the tweets and then you have two classifications the first is subjectivity classification whose outcome is either subjective uh, tweets or objective tweets which are neutral tweets and if it is a subjective tweet then you have to uh, pass through another polarity classification which uh, identifies the positive tweets from the negative tweets. So if we focus on the main system modules, you will have uh, four uh, modules. The first one is a pre-processing module uh, which includes uh, Similar to, uh, uh, to English language, steps of normalization, stop word removal, stemming, post tagging. Uh, for a normalization, we, uh, we use a Lucene um, uh, libraries after making our modification for colloquial Arabic, because Lucene supports MSA, not, uh, not colloquial Arabic. Uh, stop word removal, simple, uh, but we had to deal a little bit with the uh, uh, with the grammatic uh, illnesses of the tweets. Post tagging, we use a meta because it's a really big uh, uh, issue. Uh, it's a very good tool, generates a part of speech, lexemes, deactrization, and full morphological analysis in one operation. It is free, so everybody can use it. It reduces ambiguity. Um, unfortunately, it works under MSA, for modern standard Arabic. But this was the only option that we had to use. And back to the semantic orientation module, we mainly focus on the following algorithms, the normal sum and the second weight algorithm. The normal sum is, a, is very simple. We just add plus one for positive sentiment words and negative one for uh, um, negative sentiment words. And then add the things together and, uh, and have a, a a statement about the uh, se sentiment orientation, um, which of course increases the false positive of neutral causes. For example, if you take this uh, typical idiom, which, uh, which really means is turn the blind eye so you can survive. Uh, if I go, um, I uh, use Google Translate on that, it would translate to uh, your state walk or let your state work and eat, uh, walk and eat bread, which is very uh, positive or eat bread is positive. Uh, so. The other um, algorithm is a second weight in which the sentiment of the word weights depend on the number of tweets with the word sent semantic orientation to the total number of tweets that included the word. So our modification is the merge, merging cement, uh, sentiment words from different lexica or tweet, tweeter streams. The lexicon will be used in the hybrid approach, of course. So we gathered more than uh, almost 9,000 sentiment words after removing the duplication of all the four lexica and removing contradictions in semantics labels because we found a contradiction between uh, the four uh, uh, lexica and handling a false neutral in which we use the maximum weight of a sentiment world in the tweet using the second weight algorithm. Only five minutes, okay. So the feature extraction module for the uh, subjectivity classifier, we use the normalized word, stem level features, language independent features like emoticons with special handling of this uh, context sensitive direction of, uh, of the tweet, elongation, punctuation, as things that are specific really to the uh, Arab language, also as the decorating characters. Uh, also tweet uh, specific features like the hashtag, user mention, uh, position of the user mention, and so on. And the polarity, we use the normalized word, stem level features, and language independent features like uh, uh, the positive emoticons. And the SO score, of course. As I said, we have two uh, uh, classifiers. Uh, the one is a subjective classifier, and in case of a subjective classifier, you have to pass through another polarity classifier, uh, which uh, um, uh, classifies the tweet into a negative or positive tweet. Okay, uh, the classification is 
done based on the information gain uh, uh, theory um, in order to uh, uh, the shown set uh, we get a, um, a reduced set of features and maybe I can pass quickly to the uh, system evaluation uh, here we uh, comparing uh, the work, uh, our work, to the work done in uh, three, um, which uses the lexicon-based approach. Uh, so the blue curve, uh, the blue bars, are the original work, and uh, we separated our work here into the red one, which handling the neutral case, and the uh, uh, yellow uh, showing the effect of um, using the merged lexicon. And actually, the green one, which is really the, best, the base for the comparison, is the one where that we did uh, the combination of both approaches. So we see that our green is, uh, in all cases, uh, better than the blue ones. And in comparison of uh, the hybrid approach, uh, we, uh, do the, uh, we analyze the subjectivity classifier. Uh, uh, with our uh, algorithm and in all cases except for the recall for the objective tweets we have a, um, a drop in performance uh, except for that we have uh, everything is in the green area we have a, a, um, uh, an increase in the precision occur, uh, accuracy and, uh, and the precision and uh, the recall and of course the F measure because it depends on both of them. And for the polarity classifier as well, we have a much better results uh, in general, except for the precision and a positive and a recall of the negatives, which is a slight drop as compared to the uh, better increase in the green, uh, in the green values. So uh, I guess, I'm out of uh, time and out of uh, slides as well. So these are <laughs> logo of our uh, uh, technologies that we use in our work. Thank you very much. Thank you.